Alright guys, so a lot of people keep asking me to do uh, reactions to the 2020 Spirit Halloween sneak peeks. Um, I've honestly been trying not to spend a lot of time looking at these things because I want to see them for myself in person as I walk into the stores and be able to get scared of them, you know, as they're jumping at me and everything. So I've just, I've tried to keep my eyes off of them on the internet, but I have sneaked and looked at a couple of them. Sneaked? Snuck? I don't even know what the word is. <laughs> but anyways, today I was sitting here, I got the notification for the Harvester of Souls, and I couldn't help it, I had to look. So we're going to look at that one right now. So let's switch over here, you can see what I'm looking at. And uh, we're just going to look at a couple of these animatronics, but we're going to start with the Harvester of Souls. I'm so excited about this, guys. All right, he is six feet tall, a little over six feet tall. He's $299. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing, guys. Um, all right, let's, let's just play the little video here. Look at me, just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. Yes. I I love this thing, guys. Um Look at that. That is that is so cool. I love how the little girl when he raises her up, she her head is down and then her head lifts up. Now, their mouths, neither one of their mouths move, but that's okay. Um, it's completely made up for, just by the look on their faces, especially the girl with her mouth just wide open, like she is just terrified. She's already in, like, a zombie state. And, uh, and then the Harvester of Souls just proceeds to suck out her soul, just to inhale it. I think that is one of the coolest props that I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> the fog shooting out of her mouth lit up in neon green and being sucked into his mouth. So he's got to have some kind of a little fan or something inside him that it, that is pulling it. Because you can see it's not just like floating up out of her mouth, you know, as the fog would usually do. I mean, it's literally shooting out of her mouth and into his, being sucked into his body. So... That is a really, really cool effect. I personally think that 300 bucks for this prop is well worth it. Um, and there's not a whole lot that I would say that for. Uh, Crouchy was 300 bucks last year, and I think that he was well worth it. He was enormous. Just looking at his hands, they were so huge, and and he, I think he was well worth the 300 bucks. And this one here is even more worth it. I absolutely love this thing. Harvester of Souls, $299. If you order it now, you can get it. Uh, let's see, it says it's expected to ship on or before 916. I'm excited and very anxious to see if they have any of these set up in the store. And if they do, I'm even more anxious to see if they have the fog going. Because, you know, the stores that I was in all last year, I think I only saw one or two things that had fog going. The uh, the Haunted Aquarium had fog at one point in only one store. There wasn't fog in any other stores. I mean, maybe a little bit trickling out. But uh, then you had um, Cerberus, I think it was. May maybe. He may have had fog coming out in one store. I don't remember. But um, I asked about it, and they said it was an issue with, like, setting off... Uh, I think the fire alarms or something. So it'll be interesting to see if they have one of these in any of the stores, if they have the fog going. I don't know how they couldn't. I mean, ugh. So cool. I cannot wait to see this thing in person. So let's hop back here for a minute. Um, see what else we want to look at here. Let's let's look at Krampus. Krampus is awesome. Seven and a half feet tall, guys. Holy crap. 350 bucks. This guy is enormous, and he is creepy. He's got the chains on him. He's like the evil Santa Claus. I mean, that's basically what he is, the evil Santa Claus. He's got those giant horns sticking out his head there. Come on, focus. All right, there we go. He's got the giant horns sticking out his head, the long, creepy fingers, chains all over him, the long beard. Look, he's got a hoof 
sticking out the bottom. That is so creepy. And if we look at the side view, <laughs> you can see how he's bent over. That is just the scariest form of a body right there. That, that just creeps me out right there alone. And like he's just slugging along. Oh my god. All right, let's go to the video here and watch this for a second. So creepy. I don't think he makes any other noise other than... Well, there's a little kind of a growl, an evil growl or something. But you can hear his chains going. He's moving back and forth. But that's really all he does. And I gotta say, for as awesome and huge and good as he looks, I'm very disappointed in that movement, if that is truly all he does. I mean, he's not even making any real growling, scary noises or anything. Just simply moving back and forth and you can hear his chains. Cool nonetheless. But, I mean, for 350 bucks, even with how good he looks, I would kind of expect a little bit more out of him. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at the Plague Doctor. This guy is awesome, too. I'm so excited about this guy, and I want to see him in a store. But this is another one that has fog involved. And like I said, in the stores, they don't like to play that fog. He looks so creepy. Seven, almost seven... Almost seven and a half feet tall, 7.4. He's 229 bucks. That's a good price for him, I think. Let's watch the video here. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't appear to move at all. Um. And I gotta say, with the effect of the fog and those bright red eyes glowing, it almost doesn't bother me that he doesn't move. Now, I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe if I see him in a store, um, you know, maybe he will actually be moving. But it looks to me, as far as with this video here, that all he does is just stand there and the fog billows around him. And, uh, and you can see his eyes, and he makes some scary sounds. I mean, that's really cool. 229 bucks. He's over 7 feet tall. And to me, I think that's worth it. I think that's a good one right there. Even though I just said that uh, Krampus, with him being 7 feet tall, and all he does is move back and forth, um, I said that wasn't really worth the money. But he's 350 You know, Plague Doctor's 229 That's more like it. Now, here's another one I absolutely love, guys. <laughs> 16 inch sewer varmint. Oh my god, I love this thing. Alright, let's watch the video on this one. Uh, this is like a giant two headed rat. And he's got fog involved too, but I don't think they'll have that in the store. Let's watch the video here. Listen to this thing. Look at that thing, man. I, I absolutely love it. It's only $129. 16 inch. That's really not very big at all. I mean, you're talking about like this long. It's not very big at all. But it is really cool. I love the screeching. I love the fog. It just That's just definitely an awesome prop. Hold on. Let, let's get the close up here of this face. His eyes light up. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. That is just crazy. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Um, Uncle Charlie. To be honest with you, that one's kind of boring. Let's look at the... Uh, okay. The Nightcrawler. Holy crap, guys. I watched this one. This is. I think this was the first sneak peek I watched was the Nightcrawler. Because I'd been trying not to watch them. And I saw that thing, and I'm like, I have got to see this. Um, all right, let's, let's look at it here. And this is a jump scare. This is one that jumps at you. And I just hope so badly that they have these in the store. All right, let's watch the video. Look, look at the shape of the body here. It reminds me of the girl climbing down the steps 
upside down on The Exorcist. Ugh, scary movie. Let's watch the video. Glowing red eyes. <laughs> All right, so hold on, let's just watch. Snarling, growling. Then he goes back into place. Okay, so he basically perches just in that one position there, and he waits. And, and then he jumps at you. That's the only movement he has. Now, I thought from the first time that I watched this that he jumped a little bit farther, a little harder. Um, but it still is a good jump scare. I love the way his face looks, how his jaw is just like hanging wide open with his ugly yellow teeth, his red glowing eyes, and just that stance, the way that he's perched there, um, is, is so creepy because that is a way that nobody should ever be perched, you know? Hold on, let's get a close-up here of this face if we can get it to, um... Yeah, look at that face. Holy crap. <laughs> that is an awesome one. All right, let's jump back. That's $199. He's three and a half feet. Um... Where's the other... Okay, here we go. Let's look at this one. Clowning Around. We're not going to look at all of them, just some of them that I really like. I did watch this Clowning Around one, and I love this because he is... Holding two young children. <laughs> I absolutely love this. It reminds me of the one that was done several years ago, I think, by Distortions, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't even know how tall it was. It was, like, enormous. And I think um, the demon was holding, like, a boy. One boy. And the boy was thrashing all around and screaming. And I remember on the news, um, people were going nuts about this thing, throwing a fit because it was, like, so evil. But that's what this one reminds me of. Tall clown, he's seven feet tall, $299. <laughs> and he's holding, I think it's two little girls. Look at this, one in each hand. Let's watch the video here. I love the way he talks too, watch this. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I love that so much. That that maybe may even be my favorite one uh, that I've seen this season so far. I don't know, man. I just I love it. I I love when they incorporate the little kids in there and they're so terrified and screaming. I I don't know why I love that. I just do, but um, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> We, we gotta watch that one one more time, guys. The look on these kids' faces when they're screaming and thrashing around. Watch this. <laughs> look at the look on her face. Oh, we don't even get to see the other one, but that's hilarious. I love that one, and I hope I get to see that in a store. All right, let's uh, let's look at one more here. Um, we got the butcher. I think that all that one does is just move around a little bit. Um, let's see. All right, let, let's go for one that I don't particularly care for at all. I haven't even watched all these, and I don't want to. Um, but I did watch this one, Johnny Punk. I don't get this one, guys. It, it to me, it's it's kind of boring. It's almost like comes across to me like another one that they just threw together just to have something else out there. Four and a half feet tall, 160 bucks. It's this Johnny Punk kid on a swing, and according to the video, this is all he does. I've been waiting for you to come out and play. What took you so long? <laughs> Who you calling a clown? You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> yeah, to me that is like, I mean, there's absolutely nothing about this one that is fun to me or just, I don't know, there's nothing I like about it. Um, I mean, maybe if he was part of your haunt, 
you know, if you had a bunch of clowns and stuff in your front yard and you had him hanging there too, maybe it would be a cool addition just to have something else out there. But to me, he's just, he's pretty boring. So I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing what makes him cool. If I am, you tell me. Because as far as I'm concerned, Johnny Punk is... <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Maybe one more, guys. Maybe one more, just because I love this stuff. Um, Alright, let's do... Let's do the Wailing Phantom. I have not watched this one. Six feet tall, 350 bucks. I don't know if that's supposed to be a woman or a man, but it's a phantom... Looks pretty creepy. Look, he's holding his uh, his light there. Let's watch the video. I like the look of the face and the eyes. Okay, I mean, I love the eyes. Look at that. I love the eyes. I love how they move around. Um, the mouth wasn't all that impressive. You know, the mouth, like, stayed open while it was talking, just barely moving. That could have been done a little bit better, but it's a really, really cool-looking prop. I don't know if it's worth $350. Um, just kind of moves around a little bit. It does, didn't do anything that I would consider whaling, but it still is a totally awesome prop. I would definitely put that in my haunt. Um, all right, guys, we're going to call it a night on that. I don't want to look at too many. I just want to be able to go into the store and um, see them for myself firsthand. But this was kind of fun just to look at those tonight. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people have asked me to to kind of do a reaction thing to uh, to those. And that's not something I usually do, but I thought it might be kind of fun tonight. So there is some of the props that are coming out for Spirit Halloween 2020. Stick around because I am going to be going to as many Spirit Halloweens as I can possibly get to this year. It's going to be awesome, spooky Halloween fun.